Hello there. What is going on, everyone? We're going to talk about Star Wars Unlimited today. Uh, the new set, Shadows of the Galaxy, is rapidly approaching with pre-releases coming and the official release coming just around the corner. And I, I have my doubts about this game's long-term health because of a couple of things that have come up. So I want to talk about, a little bit about this today. Still really fun game. Uh, and that's part of the problem. If you guys are new here to the channel, talk a lot about Star Wars and tabletop gaming, especially where those two meet. So I'd love to have you stick around. We do giveaways all the time. We're going to be announcing the winner for the latest $25 Amazon gift card giveaway at the end of this video. Uh, if you haven't already entered to win any of the future giveaways, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Plus, uh, if you'd also like to, you can check out the links in the video description below. We have a Discord we have social media links, Patreon, all kinds of great things like that. So big, uh, big thanks to all those patrons out there who are uh, definitely help making this channel possible. Let's talk about Shadows of the Galaxy. All right, so this is a really cool set. It has some new keywords. Uh, I, I want to kind of do some, uh, some like breakdowns and spoilery uh, videos for some of the new cards. Uh, I haven't been like eagerly watching all of the spoiler card reveals because I will admit that when a new you know a new set comes out or whatever it's really cool to open boosters and be like ooh I got Darth Maul or ooh I got Supreme Leader Snoke or whatever he was just previewed it looks really cool but I'll save those for maybe a different video uh, this time I want to talk about stock and shortage because I think that's the uh, the biggest problem facing this game right now. Um, and, and initially, the fears were that, oh, this is FFG doing a game, and they're going to discontinue it, and and all just like they've done for Destiny, and just like they've done for the Star Wars collectible card game, and, and all of this other stuff. And I think a lot of folks have gotten past that. I think a lot of folks have gotten past the art, the people who were on the fence, either they, they tried it and liked the game, or maybe it wasn't enough for them. But I think we're past all of those criticisms right now because the bigger criticism is for the people who actually enjoy the game, of which there are quite a few. I, I, everybody I've talked to either really likes it or likes it but can't get anything. You know, they, they, people tend to fall into like one of those two categories. I mean, now, granted, there's definitely people that aren't interested at all. But as far as the people who've played it, um, I don't haven't met too many people who played it and said, oh, this game's terrible. I, I actually haven't met anybody who's said that. So... And, and I honestly do think the gameplay is, is really fun. It's a good, solid game. Uh, but these stock shortages are obscene. I really would rather them just release a digital platform, a digital client. There's so many digital trading card games now uh, that this would just work perfectly for that. Especially if this has plans. I think they said they had seven sets already kind of like designed and kind of like in the pipe. And, you know, and presumably are still working on more beyond that. But... If the game's going to go seven sets, I, it, you know, personally, I have difficulties trying to like, oh, set number seven comes out. Well, oh, I got to build a new deck, but I need cards from all the other previous sets. So let me dig through 10,000 cards to find that one that I want for this deck. You know, I, I hate that. So I would love it if they would do a digital a companion or a digital side game with this uh, that I could just play digitally instead. Now, granted, I know I can play on TTS. I may end up doing that instead, but then it doesn't become a really a, a card game anymore. Then it becomes like an LCG at that point because you just have access to everything. But that may be what has to happen because the stock for this is abysmally low. Now, Spark of Rebellion was the first set. That one has been pretty much sold out everywhere. They F FFG did address it and, and talked about how the game had exceeded even their wildest expectations. And, uh, you know, we've heard that before with like Destiny and everything else. There was, you know, this does kind of feel like a repeat of Destiny, a lot of people are saying. And I know some of you out there are going to give me a hard time for kind of, you know, bashing on the game a little bit. I'm not bashing on the game, but on the lack of product availability. That's what I'm bashing on. Uh, and there's two key things. Uh, for one, I've seen multiple people who had pre-orders through Asmodee. By the way, this isn't even available on Asmodee's website anymore now. Uh, but like, uh, you know, at least at the time of me recording this video, you cannot find this product on Asmodee uh, on their pre-order page. So it's almost like they're kind of... <laughs> it's not the same thing as what they're doing to X-Wing and Armada, but it's, uh, but it's different. Um, but they've been actually canceling pre-orders. People who've had it have gotten emails saying, hey, we can't, you know, due to st stock shortage, we can't fulfill your pre-order. We've removed it from your cart. Sorry about your luck, basically. And, and stores, like my local store is getting 
uh, less than half of what they had for Spark of the Rebellion uh, for this game. I, I'd say much less than half. I think they're only getting like one case, maybe two cases. Um, and, and they're kind of a big store that had a big pre-release events and, and stuff like that. Very, very low stock. Uh, I was trying to pre-order a booster box. Uh, they said that they could maybe put me down for one, but that's not even, you know, they may have to cancel it. They may not be able to even do pre-orders for this at all. And so what's going to probably end up happening is these are going to be on eBay for two, three, four hundred dollars a box or something ridiculous. And at that point, I'm just not going to bother. Um, so and, and, and I'm not going to play the chase game. I don't don't. It's to me, it's just not worth it. It's a fun game, but I can have fun with those cards that I already have. I do enjoy new sets and I do enjoy deck building to to a degree. But for me, one of the biggest fun aspects of having a new set come out is to be able to do draft tournaments, to be able to do pre-release. I'll definitely do pre-release for this if I can get in. They're actually heavily limiting pre-release at this point, too, because of stock shortage. Even pre-release kits is just a fraction of what it was for Spark of, Unli uh, Spark of Rebellion, and that wasn't even close to enough. That stuff ran out very, very quick. So there is real serious and drastic supply shortages with this game and i am afraid that it's going to be so bad that it drives a lot of people away from the game i'm feeling like i may not play this anymore if i can't get my hands on product i'll probably just you know t throw in the towel and say well it was nice while it lasted strike three for ffg i really hope they're able to get product out there and i hope they can get it out there quickly because there's definitely they're going to lose their momentum. And this happened with Destiny. They lost a lot of momentum. A lot of people that wanted to get in on the ground floor couldn't. And then by the time stock did eventually happen, it was too late, too little too late. And I feel like it's probably very difficult nowadays to anticipate the demand for a card game. But I feel like it shouldn't be that difficult to anticipate a Star Wars card game. Especially for Spark of Rebellion when they had Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker on the freaking box i mean like you, like everybody even you know the fans that are most divided about all the new stuff you still would have had roped everybody in with darth vader you know what i'm saying so uh, long story short i i really hope they can improve the 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 supply i i hope they can you know fulfill those pre-orders which they're saying they're not but i hope they can do it soon and um if they wait too long the steam is going to be gone uh, they're doing, they're, you know, if reprints of Spark of Rebellion eventually come out after set two is already out, I don't know if that many people are going to care. Um, if they wait for this, you know, to get, I'm assuming they've already printed some of set three, and I imagine it's probably the same, if not less, than what they have for Shadows of the Galaxy. Uh, it's going to be a really sad day. There's already, you know, chase cards for like 80 plus dollars, you know, on, on the third-party markets even if you can find those a lot of the sites that i used to go to um like have have nothing in stock you know uh, even uncommons or a lot of uncommons are out of stock it, when you can't even sell singles there's a big problem when you can't even go out and buy the cards to make your deck it's just going to drive people to tts or drive them away completely i would imagine ffg would probably rather tts than driving away completely because at least it keeps you interested in the game but then again, you can fall into that pitfall of like, well, I don't ever have to spend another cent on this game and just can continue to play. So they definitely don't like it that much. Uh, so it's a very weird place that we're in right now. I don't know why they don't just kind of put out a delay. Hey, we don't have enough stock, so let's just hold off until we get Spark of the Rebellion to come back and then do another relaunch once we have product or something like that. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you think... They should just postpone uh, all these launches until they can meet pre-order demands and actually have enough uh, quantity out there. They need more of this than they had of the first set. And they have, I want to say, 10 to 20% of what they have. It's what it seems like so far. So, yeah, they, 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 they're doing this all, all, all wrong, and it's, it's a shame. I don't like to uh, criticize FFG that much because they've had so many great games over the years, and, and the game itself is really good. I really want to play it more. I really want to like it. I want to be able to have product, and I want other people to be playing it. And I talked to people who I know would love this game and like, hey, are you playing Star Wars Unlimited at all? Just the other day I was talking to a friend, and he's just like, yeah, you know, I... I did pre-release and I thought it was cool, 
And then I tried to buy some cards, and there were none. And that's a real bummer. That's a real bummer. I, I, I found one store within, like, the last six months that had boosters. And they only had, like, they had, like, one box for their whole store. So it was, like, you can buy two boosters if you want. It was mac capping out people out on two boosters. It's ridiculous. And that's just not, it's not, it's not a way to do uh, a card game like this. It's, it's really a shame. And uh, I, I hope they can do better. But let me know if you're able to find some Shadows of the Galaxy. If you have a web store that has these at a good price or at MSRP, uh, link it in the in the comment section. Let's, let's you know let's try to spread the love. If you got a, a local store that has a, a lot of these coming in, you know, share it. Let, let's let's find out where where people can actually get this stuff because everywhere that I look is sold out or doesn't have it or isn't taking pre-orders and they're just like, well, we'll get what we're getting. We'll try to run tournaments with that. And I can understand that if you're a store and you're only getting like one case, maybe you want to be able to run draft. Maybe you want to actually get people in the store because your store actually makes a little more money out that way. You get people sitting in the store, but then they're going to buy sleeves. They're going to draft it. They're going to, they're going to, you know, keep spending money in your store. Uh, and, and that's a good thing, right? So, um, but <laughs> The way they're going right now, they're driving people away, and it's a shame. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, we do also have a winner to announce. Today's winner for the $25 Amazon gift card is Nicholas Miller, 1909. Congratulations, Nicholas. Uh, just shoot me an email at mailcrabbock at gmail.com, and we'll get you squared away. Uh, that's going to do it for today's video, and I will talk to you later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Uh, patrons, you guys are absolutely amazing, and uh, everybody else, always wash your socks. I'll see you.